Welcome back guys. So here uh, question number 16 and uh, again the same scenario in which we have three resistors and we have to find out the voltages across two of them. Okay. So now uh, what is the first step here? So this is the same circuit like we had previously. So this is the voltage source. Okay. We have basically three impedances here. Okay. and we have to find out the value across Z2 and Z3, okay. So for it, what we should have, we should have the total impedance here as well. So let me represent this one with the red color while this one with the green color, okay. So for it, let me first calculate the total impedance okay so the total impedance here is z of t and as this is the series circuit so the total impedance will be consist of a series combination of this resistor this inductive reactance and this capacitive reactance okay so let me write the values here so this is the real value which is the resistance here so 20 plus as this is the inductive reactance so j20 okay while this is a capacitive reactance so i have to put minus j with it so minus j40 okay so here what i will get it will be z of t and z of t is real term while this one will be plus j20 minus 40 and ultimately I will get here Z of T is equal to the 20 minus J 20 okay. So that is the impedance in which form this is the rectangular form. So let me calculate it in the polar form as well. So for polar form I can use this one here. So it's 20 minus 20 with the iota here. So it will be here now similarly this complex this three okay so here i will get this one or 28.28 ohm with an angle of what minus 45 degrees so that is the total impedance okay so now let me calculate the value of v1 here so the v1 is across this inductive reactance so v1 is j20 divided by the total impedance and that is z of t that is 28.28 .28 with an angle of minus 45 degrees multiplied by the total voltage and the total voltage which is given here is 20 with an angle of 70 degrees okay so you can very easily see that the operations which I have to perform here are basically the multiplication and division and the feasible form for these operations is basically the polar form. Okay, So all the quantities if will be in the polar form so uh, the calculation or the steps I have to perform will be very feasible for me. So here let me see that this is basically in polar form, this is in polar form while this is not in polar form, this is in rectangular form. So let me uh, change it into the polar form. So removing J, I have to put 90 degree here. Okay. So it is now in polar form. So now calculating V1, this would be 20 multiplied by 20 divided by what? 28 point 28 and the angles here are 90 degrees plus 70 degree these are the numerators and here this is minus 45 so it would be plus 45 degrees okay so now let me calculate them it will be what 20 multiplied by 20 so it is 400 divided by 28.28 .28 and it would be 14.14 volts while the angle with it is how much let me add them 90 plus 70 plus 45 so here here I will have 
205 degrees okay so that is the value of v1 which i had to find out here okay uh, similarly now finding the value of v2 what it would be so the impedance across which i have to find out it is is basically the capacitor here so i have to find out the voltage drop across this capacitive reactant so it would be minus j40 okay divided by the total impedance and that is already calculated and that is basically 28 point 28 with an angle of minus 45 degrees okay and multiplied with the total voltage so the total voltage is again already found out here and that is 2070 degrees okay now let me calculate the value of v2 again following the same steps okay so first of all let me convert this minus j40 into the polar form so it would be in polar form here which will be minus 90 degrees you know why because when plus j is equal to the 90 degrees on the cartesian or the complex plane so minus j will be equal to the minus 90 degrees okay uh, so now similarly using 40 multiplied by 20 divided by 28.28 .28, with an angle here of minus 90 degrees plus 70 degrees and here this would again be plus 45 degrees okay so now let me calculate it it would be 40 multiplied by 20 800 divided by 28.28 .28. So, that is how much that is 28.28, 28.28 and the angle here will be how much that would be minus 90 plus 70 plus 45 so it is 25 degrees here 25 degrees and as this is involved so it is here so that is the value of v2 which is across this capacitive reactors okay so these are the values which i had to find out and this is the solution of question number 16 of our book so that's it for today in which we have seen that how to calculate the values of uh, voltages across different elements in a simplified RLC circuit. Thank you so much and I will see you soon.